Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some updates and some progress to the Ice Trapper that I talked about a bit ago. So this character is quite a bit over leveled. I am level 52 in level 45 content, mainly because when I level builds that don't really get a lot of HP, such as this character right now, uh, I want to make sure I over level some of the bosses or else I am very much in prone of getting one shot. Uh, so this is kind of a little bit of what the tree outline looks at right now. I don't really know which way it's better to go first. I just went over here to grab, um, to pretty much grab like my crit and my saboteur uh, for all like the trap multipliers over here and then, or trap increases. And then I wanted to go to Templar to grab Amplify because the AoE felt really shit. And then I just have to spec into AoE here, AoE here, and uh, definitely make sure you get two hair trigger jewels as soon as you can. So I've got one hair trigger here, and then another hair trigger posted right here. And the goal is eventually to drop a hair trigger, uh, path down through here, grab like the jewel socket, the power charge, blood drinker here, and then we'll grab clever construction. And these three nodes here, one, two, three, you can see they're 20% that are trap trigger radius. Each one of them is 20% trigger AOE. So for three of them, I can remove a hair trigger jewel and get a normal jewel. Anyway, let me just show you guys the character. I'm currently using a Realm Ender, uh, which gives plus three. So we've got Ice Trap, Added Cold, Cluster Traps, Ink AoE. And for our boots, we're currently running Cluster Trap, Trap and Mine, Ice Nova, Hypothermia. Uh, I did say I wanted to use Frost Bomb, but Frost Bomb for leveling has been poo-poo, uh, mainly because I need to level up this duration that I haven't been leveling up. Um, and I think I'm really going to keep my Frost Bomb mainly a single target. So for right now, we're going to just play around with Ice Nova. And then this will feel a lot better as well once we get a Tinker Skin because we can reserve all of our mana when we get a Tinker Skin. Um, which sets up like Grace or Double Blasphemy or something else we'll figure out at that current point in time. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me just go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. It's pretty good for Harbinger because you just fucking throw the traps inside the circle. It's pretty cool. They're just like, hey, look, just throw them right here. Nice. Now, I would use Arcane Surge, but uh, you guys know me, I'm really lazy. I don't feel like setting up a link for Arcane Surge. And because I'm going to be going EB, I don't actually know if Arcane Surge even works for EB, unfortunately. Uh, I will have one leveled up, though, for later just to test. Katava! Where art thou, Katava? I don't want to get one shot. Actually, I don't think Katava can one shot me. As long as I dodge his hand, we should be okay, to be honest. Oh, Katava. What you doing? You know, this Ice Nova MTX is really misleading with, like, how small the AoE is, it's actually quite a bit larger. Oh, bad and cold one to level up, that's always good. Oh yeah, one big downside to Ice Nova is Ice Nova has almost half the damage effectiveness as Frostbolt. Or Frost Bomb, sorry. Frost Bomb is like super deeps. Super deeps. But not good for leveling up as of right now. Was there already stage push? Oh. Man, Realm Under plus three is a little OP. Can I just like chuck all these right here so that when he spawns it goes bloop, 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 bloop. How long do they last? 16 seconds? Okay. Get him, traps! Go get him. Okay, that thing is tanky as fuck. Why? Frostbolt bombs would have been OP for this. For our ascendancy, by the way, we've got the Pendulum of Destruction as of right now, which gives us the chance at, well, not a chance, but every so often we get a 100% increased 
a level damage steroid and a uh, what is it? Um, uh, ink AOE buff. I don't remember how many phases normal Kataba has. Is this another phase, or is he? Is he? No, he's GG now, right? Laser beam hits him in the eye, and he gets fucked. That JPG, please. Okay, yeah, we're good. Yep. Oh, okay. So Kitava has been slain. No problem. Okay. So with our tree, what we plan on doing is next level is gonna or next lab is gonna be Mastermind of Discord. So we get twenty five percent cold pen every time we use a fire skill. Well, every ten seconds. So we just basically use flame dash, uh, which should be no problem at all. And then we're probably gonna go ahead and I have to figure out if I want Leisure the Primordial versus Beacon of Ruin. I think Beacon of Ruin might be better for my playstyle, but we'll have to see, just because I really despise golems. In terms of our passive tree, I have to grab Discipline and Training like ASAP. I might have to rush Scion Life Wheel, because I do get Scion Life Wheel in my build, and it's going to be lacking until I pretty much pick up the Scion Life Wheel, because this is like 40% of my life. Um, and then the last section of our tree, to be honest, is probably, is probably coming down here and grabbing like High Explosives and Clever Construction. Uh, but just to show you guys a little bit more content, let's see if we can find some mobs over here. Where are we? Cathedral, rooftop. Okay, that's right. We're supposed to talk to Lily. Lily, let's go. Sail to Ray class. Complete the labyrinth. I do not like seeing... I actually might just remove this from here just because I don't want to see this here. Uh, for our bandits, I went along and uh, helped Alira just because it's like, what, 10 or 15 all res or some shit with like a decent amount of crit multi. I would say it's totally worth the two points uh, in terms of damage investment. The mono regen does help quite a bit like early game. It's going to be completely useless later on because we're going EB, but um, I still think it's okay. Oh, I snow the traps like falling off now. Yeah, I'm really getting starved for trap cooldown recovery at the moment. Uh, for my uh, my ice nova, not for my ice trap. My ice trap's doing okay, and I'm I actually have a helmet crafted for ice trap that I want to try out for uh, trap cooldown. I'll actually show you guys it right here. I feel when you're getting messages in game. It feels compromised. Okay, we have a helmet that we crafted. This one, 30% ice trap cooldown recovery speed with 115 max life. And it even has a dex roll, which is good because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need dex for my build, which doesn't make sense. But don't worry about it. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of updates with what's been going on. Um, yeah, the uniques being used, just to go over them, I guess, one more time. I got Realm Ender, Wall of Brambles. I, I, I know I didn't go over this before. Uh, Skullhead, Deerstalkers, Dodres, uh, Belt of Deceiver, and that's about it. And then I'll put on a Wise Oak once I have better flash management, like maybe closer towards maps. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. I'll see you boys all tomorrow.